out here in the pen today, uh, we've got uh, Jed Carney from the ACTU. Then out and about, I've been to a nursing home in Richmond, which was fantastic. Talked to a whole bunch of nurses and carers out there, and I've been here at the Nepean Hospital for the rest of the morning. And it's really interesting because of both places, the same things have come up. I mean, the first thing that came up at the nursing home was the $1.2 billion in cuts to aged care. Unbelievable. And then, of course, the nurses were very worried there about the cuts to uh, bulk billing incentives for things like pap smears and ultrasounds and pathology tests. People who can't afford those kind of tests, um, they will just simply put those tests off and that will have a flow-on effect that, uh, that uh, you know, if they do have something significant that's going on, that that's going to um, progress into something even larger and then they'll have to be uh, have a lot larger and longer stay admissions. Well, I was just talking to some mental health nurses who are really worried about the cuts to um, mental health services, particularly in the community because they know that that means that there'll be more people being admitted to the hospital. Of course what happens, EDs fill up, pressures on the hospitals, $57 billion cuts to hospital budgets. It's really, a, a, the whole thing is a mishmash and it's a recipe for disaster for healthcare of this country. And then, to add insult to injury, there's a $50 billion tax cut or gift to the multinationals or the big corporations in this country who we all know don't pay their fair share of tax anyway. This government's just got its priorities all wrong. Education, healthcare and a fair taxation system is everything that people are talking to me about.